welcome each of you as we kick off Dickinson's International Climate Symposium. And this truly is a world-class event. The caliber of people, the number of people we've brought together here is really astounding. We've been at work for a year preparing for this three-day symposium, and we've brought together 50 different speakers and moderators coming from over a dozen countries. These are some of the world's experts um, in climate science, climate policy. We hope that this three-day conference will provide a basis for deeper reflections on climate issues among participants, especially students, the future leaders. We are honored to be able to recognize and celebrate the IPCC here tonight as recipients of the Rose Walters Prize. Well, first of all, it's such an honor for us to receive this prize from Dickinson. Well, I think the award and the prize is a significant bookmark in the work that the IPCC does. So I like to think of the IPCC as a large service organization. Essentially, our job is to wade our way through the peer-reviewed literature to extract important messages about the causes, the impacts and the responses to climate change so that they are easily accessible for policymakers around the world. Honestly, interacting with the students here is what it's all about. These folks, this generation, are on the front lines of climate change. Just seeing their interest in the topic and the ideas that they have to help us do a better job of communicating the science or thinking about the linkages to policy, it's fabulous for us. And hopefully, we can entice them into coming into the process themselves and doing research that's relevant or thinking in innovative ways so that we can harness all that their generation has to offer. I think because when they leave Dickinson, everybody's going to go in wildly different directions, and it'll be nice if everybody can go into their jobs, social circles, and have an idea of what they can do to combat climate change. For Dickinson College, a liberal arts college of 2,200 students uh, um, in central Pennsylvania to be hosting this, I don't know of an event that's, that, that has happened like this at an institution like ours. Mm -hmm.